Question number six. The diagram below this quadratic shows the graph in this form. This is the general form. For each of the rows below, row one, row two, row three, row four, indicate whether the expression is positive, negative, or zero. So this is the positive column, negative, and zero column. So we can't really read this, but we do see the shape. We have, this is the y-axis, we have the x-axis, and we have some quadratic that looks like this. We'll just suppose the number here is two. And we remember from the vertex form of the quadratic that y is equals to something squared, where we have x, and the fact that this is positive, we choose minus two. This number two goes into over here. So what we have, normally we'd have a plus some extra q value here, but because the the y value of this vertex happens to be zero, we're gonna make a zero go here, which essentially disappears. Using FOIL, we can expand this out. This becomes x squared minus four x plus four. So we can see what the a value here is. The a value is positive one, the b value is negative four, and the c value is positive four. So when you're talking about the a value, the a value happens to be one, which is positive. This is our a value. So this is positive. The c value, this is our c value here, is positive. b squared minus four ac. Recall that b squared minus four ac is the discriminant. If you look up your quadratic formula, you have this part that says square root of b squared minus four ac. When b squared minus four ac is less than zero, we have a negative square root. We have a square root of a negative number, which is imaginary, it's impossible. So there's no solutions, zero solutions. However, when this value is greater than zero, then there's always two solutions. For example, if the, if the discriminant here, b squared minus four ac is greater than zero, we get something like this, where it crosses two times. If it's less than zero, what we have is a situation where the quadratic never even touches the x-axis. And of course, if it just kisses right on where there's one solution, it means that it's equal to zero. So in this case, this curved line, the quadratic, is kissing the x-axis, so there's one solution. So the discriminant b squared minus 4ac must equal to zero. And you can see from here, the b value happens to be negative four, which is a negative number. Now let's change colors here and think about this an alternate version of this question. What if instead, I'm going to use blue now, we had the value 3 here, and say we had a curve that looked like this, a sad face. Let's try refilling in the table. So I'm just going to hypothetically choose a nice uh, vertex form for this quadratic, x minus 3 squared. And what we have here is the plus nothing because you can see this vertex here has a y value of zero. Now we know this is going to be a negative sign here. The a value is going to be ne negative because this negative here means that we have a sad face, concave down. So let's expand this out here. What we have is negative bracket. We're going to FOIL this out. We have x squared minus 6x plus 9. And we're going to distribute this negative 1 to every one of these three terms. So we have negative x squared plus 6x minus 9. So based on this sad face, we have different a different table. So for this particular example below, we have the a value is negative, and this c value is over here is negative. b squared minus 4ac, again, we're just kissing the edge. So this here is also 0, which means there's only one solution. And finally, b here is positive. So depending on how this quadratic goes, the direction is going to affect your table.